We are live at Rooney Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and this is Northeast Conference Football on ESPN3. Today, the Merrimack Warriors take on the Duquesne Dukes. Lucas remains the lone setback. He'll take the carry. Jitterbug move, breaks a tackle, breaks another, and gets down to the 12 before he is belted out of bounds by linebacker Dante Williams. Lucas in the backfield. Michelin checks back to the near bench to check on the play. Leopold is wide left. Jana is in motion. Lucas up the middle, tripped up and falls into the end zone for the touchdown. Defensive lineman Tyler Levy had him by the shoelaces, but Lucas would not be denied, and Duquesne jumps on top six to nothing. Good job wrapping up by Carson. Third and five, a blitz again. Another throw to the left side, and why not? Fisher catches the ball, he's got a first down. Carson hits him out of bounds in front of the Merrimack bench. Split receiver to each side, Dawson in the backfield. There's Wadley in motion, play fake, goes to Wadley, he's got room, and he sneaks inside the pylon for the touchdown. Wadley catching the three-yard strike, and Merrimack has drawn to within seven to six with 14-13 left in the opening half. You don't need to force anything, just make sure you trust it. First and 20 from the 14, play action pass, long down the left sideline, a receiver is open and he's got him! That is Hayden Fisher into Duquesne territory. Stopped by Webb at about the 42 of the Dukes. They're now plus, or should I say minus two in turnover differential. Lucas had nowhere to go, so he decided to try the other door and escapes out down the left sideline for a Duquesne first down for the first down. From the 44, back to throw goes Mishler. Long down the near sideline for Mendes. He's got him, and he'll go into the end zone for a touchdown. It goes for 56 yards, and Duquesne jumps on top 13 to seven with 8.23 left in the first half. Back to throw, here comes the late pressure. Over the middle, he's got Conroy for the first down as the tight end on the crossing route beats Joseph and they move the sticks. Carter is slot right. Dawson up the middle, weaves his way through, lowers his shoulder, spins and fights forward down to the 11. That is a strong 12 yard gain by Victor Dawson. Throw to make. Second and goal. Dawson in the backfield, takes the pitch, eludes one man, tries to get around another, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. For Victor Dawson, it's his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Here comes the blitz. Dawson has a lot of room to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, 25, and knocked out of bounds near the 20-yard line. Aiden Garns came over to finally make the play. Tyler Roberts, the all-NEC tight end, not available because of injury today. Back to throw, McCusker flings it out to the left sideline. Webb cannot make the tackle on Fisher, who then springs toward the end zone and dives in for the touchdown. It goes for 20 yards. If you remember, there was a lot of substitutions late. Empty backfield, Mishler looking, hustling, falls, and that ball comes out. I think that is a live ball and a fumble and a Merrimack recovery. It will go down as a sack and a turnover. With Victor Dawson in the backfield. Hands it off, Dawson runs into his own man, then cuts it back the other way, gets a block to the 10, to the five. Dawson, did he get in? We're waiting for the signal, and he is in for the score. Victor Dawson with his second touchdown run of the day, and Merrimack jumps on top, 27 to 14 with 344 left in the third quarter. Second down at eight. Out of the gun, here comes the pressure. Parentes, long downfield, left side, he wants Jana, makes the one-handed catch, and he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. With 51 seconds left in the third, Duquesne strikes back, and it's 28 to 20. 
caught it, Paul. Listen, give Parentes a lot of credit. First down carry by Edwards, has room, scoots through, 35-30 to the 20. They're gonna try to catch him down near the five, and the ball is stripped out at the two yard line, and it's picked up by Aiden Garns. Duquesne comes up with a huge turnover. Edmonds appeared headed for pay dirt. Deep drop. Fires over the middle and through the hands of Abdul Jannah. And that's going to do it as Merrimack takes over on downs with 58 seconds to go. It would have been good enough for the first down. Merrimack scored three straight touchdowns. Our player of the game is Victor Dawson. 22 carries for 124 yards and two scores. Had touchdown runs of 9 and 18 yards. Congratulations, Victor. I cannot say how impressed we were by the way you guys showed some grit and toughness in this game today. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Well, what, what do you think the key was to your running game going up against a very tough Duquesne team defense? Uh, you know, uh, we've been watching film all week. We looked at the teams they played before, and it seemed like they run the backs was uh, able to establish a good run game. So we uh, we decided to do it ourselves this time. How much does it help when you have a guy like Edmonds to be a one-two punch, and you don't have to carry the load all by yourself? I mean, uh, it, it's great because you know, like we got two different run styles, so it's like a it's a great one-two punch, and yeah. Victor, talk about your offensive line and how much love you give them for uh, opening up those holes for you this afternoon. Oh uh, man, it, <laughs> I, I appreciate them so much. You know. Uh, you really can't do it all by yourself, so a uh, whole bunch of credit goes to them, and that's why every time I score, I try to celebrate with them, party in the end zone. Could you tell me a little bit about the poise of your quarterback, Gavin McCusker, who basically, you know, so inexperienced, and yet right now he comes in because you got Zergotis with the injury. Uh, I, I thought he was incredibly professional today. Yeah, uh, he's a dog. Uh, he, he's starting to play with more swag, more confidence, and yeah, we had the next man up mentality and that it shows. Moving forward, you had a great game this afternoon. What is it that you need to work on to continue to improve and, and try to bring this same performance uh, week in and week out? Uh, just look at film, look at where we messed up at, fix that and uh, not uh, celebrate this win too much. You know, we're gonna celebrate uh, rest of today, maybe a little bit tomorrow, but after that it's uh, next week, Wagner. Well, Victor Dawson, again, 124 yards. That's your career high. A terrific uh, performance today, and we wish you the best of luck down the road. Thank you. <laughs>